Hi, Dr. Belter here. Uh, I had a patient that came in the other day. They asked me this interesting question. Uh, they had a nail fungus on, on, on many toes. So this is an example of just someone taking a nail sample. Uh, here are normal toes, toenails. Uh, but this patient, she came in and she had uh, nail fungus on multiple toenails. And she asked me an interesting question that I, I haven't been asked that many times. I said, hey, doc, uh, you're only taking a, a nail sample from my big toenail, but I have nail fungus in all the toenails. Uh, is it necessary for you to take a nail sample of every toenail? And that was a good question. Uh, let me just explain why we do nail samples. First of all, uh, everyone asked me, hey, doc, can't you just look at the toenail and see if it's a fungus or not? Well, I can't. And many times I think it's a fungus and it's not. And then other times I, I don't think it is a fungus and it is. And there are a lot of other types of conditions that can cause thickening and discoloration of the nails. And it's not only fungus. And so that's why we do take a nail. We don't do multiple nail samples on the same foot. Occasionally, I'll do two. If it's like the, it looks totally different on the right foot and the left foot, I might do two. What I tend to do, though, is let's say I do treat you and I get a, a nail fungus on the sample and then I'm treating you with, with a treatment and it's not getting better over six months or so. Then I might take another sample just to make sure the fungus isn't gone. Sometimes the fungus can be gone, but the nail can still be thickened or discolored uh, in terms of for, for nail fungus. So I'm going to put some other videos that explain kind of my process of how to take care of nail fungus and other types of things like that. If you guys found this helpful, please let me know and put any comments you have uh, underneath the video and I'll try to answer some of those, any questions or comments that you have. Okay, thanks guys. Until next time.